Hi everyone, it's Miss Nikki. And I'm Miss Emma. And we're going to do another craft for you guys today. I know we had snow last week, which is crazy for spring. But coming up this week, we have two good nature days. We have Earth Day this week. And also on Friday is Arbor Day. So um, we are going to make a 3D tree. And this is our example of what it will look like when it's completed. Very cool. And now, uh, Emma, you want to show all the things that we're going to need? Okay. So you're going to need some um, Elmer. Well, it doesn't have to be Elmer's, but some wet glue. You're going to need some scissors. You're going to need a, like a toilet paper roll. And we want to make sure you we get... Wanna, yeah, make sure it's kind of round. And that you get all of the... Toilet paper off. You need some markers or crayons, whatever you want. And you need um, some green tissue paper and some like red or pink tissue paper. Right, and we like to use different color greens if you have them, um, whatever you come across. And we love to recycle when we get presents in a gift bag. We always hold on to the wrinkled paper for projects such as this. Of course, if you don't keep them, you can always use um, brand new tissue paper if you have that around the house. If by any chance you don't have any tissue paper, you can just use like construction paper, yeah. colored construction paper. Yeah. Or if worse comes to worse, you could probably just color on a paper and um, end up scrunching those up. Yep. So this is what we're going to make today. Oh, and we need white piece of oh, paper. Oh, right. And for our background, thanks, Emma, mm -hmm. you need a piece of white paper. So um, we always like to put something underneath when Emma's coloring or using markers. So we have an extra piece of paper. So the first thing that we're going to start off doing is you're going to make your background to the scene. So on Emma, she put some grass on the bottom, clouds in the sky, and the sun. So she's going to go ahead and start working on her scene in the back. So like she said, she likes to use markers, colored pencils. Um, I think the markers are nice and vibrant. Crayons. Crayons will work too. If you like to use paints, you can go ahead and do that as well. But she's going to get started on her um, background. And um, you guys can go ahead. That's the first step. And then we'll let you know what's next. So Emma's just about done on her um, background to the tree. She's just finishing up here, it looks like, on her clouds. And you can do whatever you want on the background. You can put birds or butterflies or whatever you'd like, or flowers on the bottom. So that's going to be your background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our toilet paper roll and we want to cut it in half long ways so that it will end up being like half of the paper toilet paper roll. And you can kind of just eyeball what you think half is. What I did when um, we did our trial one is I just kind of started where I thought half would be. For Emma and then she just took it over from there. And I think we'll use this front end Emma because it doesn't have any toilet paper left on it. Okay. So can you finish cutting that for mm -hmm. me? And two, uh, we tried it with a glue stick but it just didn't seem um, strong enough to hold the cardboard of the paper toilet paper tube. So we do recommend if you have, like Emma said, the wet glue. That worked better for us. And again, if your little ones need help with the scissors, then you can do this part for them. Or if they have an older brother or sister or grandma or grandpa, you can help. All right, so let's see. So yeah, so this one had like a little bit of still um, of the toilet paper on it. So we're going with this one. And I think we gave it like a little bend. So it like looks rounder like a tree would. Right. So then you want to get your glue. And again, maybe we'll use our one and try to get it um, on the edge and also a little bit onto the inside edge. And the long ends, not the short end. There you go, Emma. Perfect. Okay, I'll turn it for you. Okay. Here we 
your hands probably more steady than mine. Mm. We're getting to the bottom of our glue. Yeah. Oops, sorry. You're fine. I'm trying better to glue on the inside, but it's hard because we're running out of glue. Perfect. Okay, and then you just want to decide where you want to put it on your tree. On our one we did the other day, Emma wanted it more towards um, the side of the picture, but this one she said she wants where you're going to put it in, more in the middle? Yeah, more in the middle. So, just decide where you want it. And then just press it down and hold it. You might want to hold it um, with a little pressure for, I don't know, let's say 10 seconds or so. And then what You're we, pushing. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then what we did is um, once we felt it set up a little bit, we just set it to the side to dry. And then we're going to get going on our leaves in the tree. And also, where did we decide those were? Emma flowers um, or those apples? Were, those were like berries. Oh, berries in the tree. Okay, so do you feel like it's kind of secure? Maybe five more seconds. Five more seconds. Okay, well, Emma's holding that. Um, so I'll just start telling you. Okay, so you're just going to just let it dry for a little bit. Yeah. You want to keep it flat. So then just take your tissue paper, and I kind of said, like I said, we just took what we had on hand from old um, gift bags, but you're just going to want to tear them, um, and you can let the kids do that. You just don't want your pieces to be too big. So about this size. Yeah. So just go ahead and... Um, you can have them tear. If you use one sheet of paper, of green, and one sheet of paper for um, the berries, you won't even need that much. But like what we ended tail. up doing was um, you could layer once you get it down on the paper. If you want to add more, you could always add more to it and just see. So the thing is you don't want to have super huge pieces of paper because when you start scrunching them, um, sometimes they get harder to stick. So you can just do a bunch of that, and like I said, we had a couple of different greens, which I thought gave it nice contrast. So I'll help you on the tear some of the paper. And again, there's no wrong way, it doesn't have to look pretty, we're just going to end up scrunching it all up anyway. And I'll do a couple of the reds in them. Okay, I can do some pink. Okay. And I said, like, we didn't end up using that many for the berries. So we're just going to do the same thing here. And you can, like, do the berries smaller. Yeah, that's a good point. So maybe for the berry ones, maybe you just want to make your strips a little smaller to scrunch. Oh, that's Okay, so Emma's just finishing up tearing. We didn't count how many we made. We just made a pile of different greens. Um, and we put it off to the side. If you find you want more, then you can use more. So then what you're going to do is get your landscape back. Okay. Will it dry? I think it's good enough. You just want to make sure that it's not sliding around or anything. But as long as you can maybe do it upside down, you can be good to go to Ooh, start. The end sort of came up there. It's okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so then what you're going to do, we're kind of running out of our glue, so I'm yeah. just squeezing it like toothpaste. Hopefully we'll have enough to get going. Go ahead, Emma. Oh, uh, okay. So she's just going to take the glue, and she's going to put it everywhere where she wants to have the green tree branches. Yes, do you want me to help? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Being very cooperative. Oh. There we go. And then two, you can just put it everywhere. And then as you're adding the tissue paper, you can kind of, what were you doing, Emma? Uh, I was putting it, adding more. I was like smearing it. Smearing it to make it stick. Okay, I think we'll be good. And we like to put, um, Emma wanted to put some to cover part of the bark. Yeah, it looks cooler. Okay, do you want to show how you start scrunching up the mm -hmm. tissue paper? So you get a piece and you just sort of crumple it, then you like smear some glue around and then you just press it down and you just keep doing that. 
just going to probably put a little more dot there. In the... And then, too, we were finding, um, Emma first put all the green for the branches, and then she added um, the berries last. Yeah. So you can make any kind of pattern. If you only have one color green, then you only have one color green. Yep, it doesn't it, matter. It's perfect. Yeah. And then um, if we end up needing more, then we'll just rip up some more. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. Yeah. But also fun. And if you find that your glue is starting to dry, which it didn't seem like we really had that problem, we could just um, squeeze out a little more glue. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to just keep working, crumpling up the tissue paper, and um, we'll check back in with you as she gets further along. Okay, so Emma's kind of gotten her um, tree all the way filled, but she's going to just add a few more to add like a second layer to make it look more 3D. So I'm just... Our glue is really getting to the end here, so I'm just helping. But with these extra ones on top, you might want to just put like a dab on. And to the looser that you scrunch the tissue paper, the more like they poof out. So if you like that um, look better than like the tight, I think like the when you do it looser, I kind of like the way it puffs up. But it's all what you like. That's good. So she's just adding a few more. Here and there. These ones that look to be a little looser, I think. Let's see how that looks. Do you like when they poof up like that, Emma, or do you like them tighter? I like them tighter, but it's not, you know, I don't mind either. Okay, however you want. Maybe just a couple more, and then we're going to add the berries. We want to make sure we have enough glue for the berries. Right. I'll do one more. Um, okay. Up here somewhere, and then we'll do the berries. And I liked how Emma, um, in the example, how she had a couple of the berries were like kind of falling off the tree. Thank you. I thought that was kind of cute. Here, thanks. Okay. It really looks like a real tree. Okay. Time for the berries. Okay, and so those you're going to make smaller, tighter? Smaller and tighter, because you don't want, you know, a berry to be poofy. Right, so show how, like, that's tighter. So, like, it's much tighter. It's like a little ball almost, right? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... And the last berry. Last berry. Just about enough glue. glue. Okay. So shall we try to lift it up? Okay, I don't want to because if I drop it... <laughs> and there you have Emma's lovely 3D tree. I think it looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. um, we recommend that you leave it flat and let it dry for at least a couple hours so that it's really stuck on there good. And then you can put it on your wall. And so, um, like we said, this we made in honor of Arbor Day, which yep. is Friday the 24th. And Emma, can you tell why we celebrate Arbor Day? Arbor, Arbor Day? So Arbor Day is it celebrates the trees because the trees, like, they... They give us oxygen, and they take away the carbon dioxide, and they're really important, and if we didn't have them, we wouldn't be alive. Right. And it's good for our environment. Yes. And traditionally, on Arbor Day, you gather in groups and plant trees, mm -hmm. but, but... Not now, because you can't gather in groups. That's right. But you can plant your own. That's true. So we hope everybody enjoyed the craft, and um, we're just wondering if you give this a try, if you wouldn't mind taking a picture and posting it in the comments below, because we'd love to see what you've been doing and how they came out. Mm -hmm. And um, we hope that you like our crafts that we're doing for you. We enjoy it. Stay safe. Stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.